When I first arrived in Los Angeles in January 68, I had no intention of practicing law or of putting myself against anything. I was only anxious to find the story and write the book so that I could split to the lands of peace and quiet where people played volleyball, sucked smoke, and chased after... Oh my god, Zeta! Oh, Madeline! Sorry, Victoria? Rosalie. Yeah. Uh, so, do you still want to be a human rights attorney after you graduate? You, you wanted to go to law school, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not really my thing. I mean, I have all these things to do, and I haven't really had time to think about it. Like, I have all these books to read, and I'm getting really involved in my sorority, so yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it was good seeing you. picked out a dress for formal. I may just go to Santa Monica and try and find one there. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to wear either. Jeez, you see all this stuff on the news about immigration reform? Nah, I haven't really been following it. Viva Zapata! Viva Pancho Villa! Viva Corky Gonzalez! Viva Cesar Chavez! Wow, I didn't mean to upset you. Viva La Raza! Hey, you want to smoke later? I'm on the ground, my face to the earth. I kiss the dirt. I eat the sand, stretched out with my palms to the sky. It has been a fine day. I am at peace, content with my commitment to the earth. It has been a good omen. The party of the buffalo should open with such a bang, bang, bang. We Chicanos, we've been beat up, spat on, kicked on. They've taken everything from us. Death at the hands of the pigs is nothing new to us, right? We gotta, we gotta wipe out the pig. Well, all we need is peace and love, right? A little dope and a little rock on the side. Let's march around the block. Let's go straight up to those pigs at the skirmish line and give them heck. Slaughter them with the Rolling Stones album. Screw you, Buster. I'm here to tell you that you're screwed. Fire start up. When the pigs come to take us all, what will you do? Will you hide behind your school colors? Beverly Hills, Westwood? Shut up, Buffalo! Hola. Ay, mommy. It's muy tarde. Lo siento. I was at a party. I couldn't get to it. What? What's wrong? What? Uncle Alberto? Why the hell is he in prison? But he emigrated 30 years ago. He's been working his butt off every day in the valley for 30 years. They're deporting them? But they were born here. Well, who else? 11 million? Action. Your Honor, may I be heard? Why do I have to sit down? I'm divided against myself. Torn in two. I want to be a stupid lawyer. So who in his right mind would want to be a lawyer, eh? I think we'd be one heck of a lawyer. I object to this court. I object to this judge. I'm going to make a motion for a mistrial. We have never left our land. Our fathers never engaged in bloody sacrifices. We are farmers and hunters, and we live with the buffalo. But they are wrong. They are now American citizens, whether they like it or not. And we'll call them Mexican-Americans. But if they want to be Americans, they'll have to give up their slave names. A hundred years later, the Chicanos turned to government and the priests to ask for justice, for food, for freedom, for education, and the pursuit of happiness. And they were told, there is no room. Leave or we'll kill you, insult you, mace you, kick or bite. Oh, come ye to jail and court. These aliens are law-abiding working their butts off every day with jobs no one wants. Construction, housekeeping, lawn work, field work. They're even fighting in frickin' Iraq. Paying taxes for social security numbers that they will never reap security from. 
paying for their children in the emergency room is seven hundred dollars cash. Ashes to my ashes, your dust to my dust. Viva la raza!